everyone and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video i'm gonna be doing my wash day my wash and go routine so we're gonna be washing this hair and what's special about this video is i actually have tape ins in so this is gonna be my wash day routine on my extensions and my natural hair obviously tape ins do not come out when you wash your hair um so we're just gonna get right into it look at my hair i have so much hair on my head right now honestly the routine doesn't change um with me having extensions in but it kind of does and we'll get to that when we get to it but per it's giving lioness it's giving diana ross it's giving big beautiful bouncy curly volumized hair honestly yeah but we need to wash because she's very dirty and we gotta get to it so we're gonna start off obviously by wetting my hair so i'm making sure that i'm parting my hair and allowing the water to fully soak my head from root to tip because i have so much hair in my head i have about i would say three and a half bundles of tape ins in my head i'll have the link to them down in the description box but because i have so much hair in my head i'm actually going to use two shampoos today i'm going to be using the head and shoulders um, for dandruff and that's because I have a very dry scalp and I've honestly since I've started using this I've been seeing such an improvement in the dryness of my scalp. I have a lot less flakiness This is also like a clarifying shampoo for me um, So it really just gets all the dirt oil grime products because I have so much product in my hair um, Out of my scalp. I work out about three to four times a week So I do a lot of sweating as well So I'm just trying to make sure that my scalp is super duper clean. So that's why I'm gonna be going and with two shampoos so i focus the head and shoulders directly on my scalp because this is again for dandruff and dry flaky scalps um so i am gonna like work it its way down but i'm really just focusing it more on my scalp and i like i said i've seen such an improvement with using this so i actually really really love it um this is nothing new though i feel like I've mentioned that I use head and shoulders before and I've honestly just always used it. I kind of just like rotate it out of my wash day routine because I feel like when I use it too much, it kind of becomes less effective. So I try not to always use it, if that makes sense. You know when you use something too much and your body like kind of gets used to it? Yeah, like I feel like that happens with me with a lot of like hair products. So I have to like cycle things out. But right now we're on the head and shoulders and I'm making sure that I'm exfoliating and just like massaging it into my scalp. Very, very important so I can get all of the flakes and the dryness out. Um, and then I'm gonna go on with the OGX tea tree shampoo and i focus this on my ends i really like this shampoo because it doesn't strip my hair of its moisture it like doesn't make my hair feel super dry or my extensions which is why i really like to use this it's also a clarifying shampoo and i just really like the way that it smells like tea tree i don't know i i like minty things and i really love the way that the shampoo smells so yeah we got a lot of shampoo in the head and we're gonna go ahead and rinse it out i used a lot less of the tea tree shampoo just because i was really just using using it on my ends but yeah my head feels super clean it feels super fresh you know when you like really exfoliate and clean your scalp and you can literally feel like the air in your follicles your hair follicles like that's literally how my head felt and i love it so much that's why i love wash day my hair is given healthy even though this is not all my hair it's given that it's all my hair like i really 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 ate these extensions up like i just want to say okay and then i'm gonna go in with the ogx quenching coconut curls conditioner um i actually really liked this this is my first time using this conditioner and well not the first time in this video but the first time purchasing this so i've been using this the bottle is almost done now um probably for like about a month and i actually really really like it so i just focus conditioner on my ends and then i work my way up to the root um but conditioner i always keep towards the ends of my hair because that's the driest part of my hair your ends are the oldest hair on your head and you know your new growth is the newest and then i'm going to go in with this shea moisture deep treatment mask i've had this for a little minute now 
and I like to pull it out every once in a while and do a nice deep treatment mask. I do deep treatments on my hair once a week um, and I do it because I need the moisture, I need the hydration, especially when my hair, I'm wearing it out a lot. So with these, these extensions, I do put it up in pineapples and stuff, but because it's like kind of a lot of hair, I've been wearing my hair out a lot. Um, so I'm gonna leave this deep treatment mask in for like 15 minutes and I'm going to detangle my hair. So let's get into these quarrels. They look so healthy. Yes, I'm just detangling with my broken Denman brush. I mean, how many times have I used this in a video? My broken brush. I mean, it gets the job done. And honestly, I think it's easier for me to manage with like me holding it the way that I am. I don't know if that makes sense, but girl, she does what she needs to do, so. Yeah, I'm just detangling and I start detangling from the tip of my hair and I work my way up to the root, which is what you guys see me doing here. I've gotten comments in previous videos that you're not supposed to detangle in the shower. Babes, I've literally been detangling my hair in the shower since I was like an infant. <laughs> like I've literally only ever done that. It doesn't cause breakage for me. Um, it actually works wonders on my hair. I could not imagine detangling on dry hair or when I'm not in the shower and there isn't a bunch of conditioner and deep treatment mask in it. Like this is what works for me and I'm just sharing it with you guys. That is all the hair that I lost. Please be mindful of the fact that I do have tapins in my head. So some of that hair is also going to be from the tapins because, you know, there's loose strands and extensions. So I'm leaving the deep treatment mask in my head and the conditioner. Did not wash it out. And I'm going to braid down this one side. And then I did the other side, braided it down. I'm going to let it sit in my head for like another 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes while I do the rest of my shower routine. Showing you these edges that are flourishing my hair that's healthy and moisturized look at a back yeah it's giving very much pocahontas honestly um so i let it sit in my hair for like 15 20 minutes and then i'm going in and i'm washing it out and i undo my little braids and i'm just like finger detangling um because the hair is already detangled and yeah, at this point, my hair just felt so incredibly soft and moisturized and silky. Like, I was just running my fingers through it because it smelled so good and it felt so good. And yeah, I was here for it. Um, so I'm going to squeeze out any excess water. This is what my hair was giving. Yes, ma'am. It's giving healthy. Honestly, I can't wait till my natural hair gets to this length because I was living for it. So now that we're out of the shower, hair is washed. This is what it's giving straight out of the shower. I draw my little Savage X Fenty robe. I'm constantly wearing my hair in a middle part, so there's like a little separation in the back, but it's there's no gap actually. And then I'm gonna go on with my Olaplex number three treatment. This is another deep treatment mask. I've been doing this for about two months now, um, once a week, and it has done wonders for my hair. And I actually leave it in, I don't wash it out. I know you're supposed to like put it in your hair, let it sit for some time, and then rinse it out. But I use it as a leave in treatment, and I just love it on my hair. Like, this really repaired any dry, dead ends that I had. Um, and it just overall just added so much hydration and moisture to my hair So I really like using this more so as a leave-in and it's a concentrate So the bottle is really tiny because you're supposed to use a little bit of product So a little bit goes a long way with this, okay? Because I know it's up there in price, but a little bit goes a long way trust me, especially when you're using it as a leave-in so I apply it to my hair and then I'm going in with another brush that I have and I'm going to basically like start clumping my curls together and defining my curls because we are doing a wash and go. I'm getting ready to go somewhere so you know the curls gotta be given what they're giving. Um, and then I go in with a mousse, that's the next step. I This is the first time I've been trying this Afuji mousse and honestly, I'm not mad at what it does for my hair. Like, it does define my curls. I just kind of wish it had a smell. It kind of has no smell, but sometimes it also kind of smells just like a chemical, which I think is a little weird. But then I go on with my Cantu Curl Activator Cream. This stuff is the boom. 
literally my favorite curly girl hair product ever when it says curl activator on a bottle yeah it's really activating them curls babes this makes my curls pop so much and the smell of it is to die for literally every single time i wear my curly hair out and i apply this in my wash and go routine i get so many compliments on how good my hair smells it literally smells like the tropics it smells like vacation it just smells good it smells yummy like i want to eat my hair does that make sense other people want to eat my hair i know sounds crazy but it's just so it smells so good um and it really does what it needs to do and it has high shine it just makes my curls look so good so i apply that very very generously to my hair and then i go back in with my brush and i'm going to define my curls by clumping them together you want to brush your hair down kind of like just like squeezing and squishing i don't know if that makes sense and then i'm going to take my hair and i'm going to like start using my hands and like clumping my hair with my hands and then i like to go in with a little bit of oil this is my jamaican black castor oil and a little bit of tea tree oil mixed in a little bottle that i got um, I kind of just made my own little concoction and I apply that to my scalp and to my baby hairs because this is really good for promoting healthy hair growth. So I just like to focus this down the middle of my head and it kind of just like works its way down. This is the mango and papaya Jamaican black casserole, which I've used so many times before. It smells amazing. So my hair just smells so good right now. Like honestly, it just smells delectable. It smells edible. It smells amazing. And then I go in with my diffuser on my blow dryer and I'm going to diffuse my hair um, I don't really do like I don't let it air dry anymore because I want volume so I'm not opposed to a little bit of frizz with my wash and go routine I think the bigger the hair the sexier the hair the better the hair like I want volume and I, it's so funny because honestly like jasmine 10 years ago jasmine 15 years ago like young jasmine literally used to hate big hair like i thought big hair was just so ugly i don't know honestly so much growth has happened i was a kid i didn't know any better i wanted flat straight hair and now like i literally i want big hair like i want an afro i want it to be huge i want volume i just think it's so pretty and it just makes me look good like so i'm gonna diffuse my hair um i focus at the root first and then i work my way to the ends and i kind of feel around for which areas are still damp and i'll go in with a diffuser and diffuse those areas more but honestly 10 minutes of diffusing and my hair is dry um so this is pretty much what it's giving and because it's not big enough i'm going to go in with my pick and i'm going to add some more volume at my crown i'm going to back tease back comb whatever you want to call it my hair so that i have more volume because i want it to be bigger this is day one hair by the time it's like day three my hair is so huge i mean you guys saw in the beginning of the video that was like five or six days after i washed my hair and my hair was huge just super duper frizzy so now we have definition and we have volume and we have high shine and my curl just looks so good so this is what my wash and go is giving i'm gonna actually throw my hair up in a pineapple in a minute so that i can like get ready to my makeup all that stuff and putting my hair in a pineapple actually will give me more volume at the crown but i want to show you guys what it looks like from the big period uh, ah, i'm loving all this hair this was the perfect like literally the perfect hairstyle for summer um so i'm gonna just put my hair up in a pineapple with my little silk scrunchie and finish the rest of my get ready with me and then we'll be right back for the end result Alrighty, so uh, my makeup is done. This is what my hair is giving. It looks so good. I honestly love my hair like this. My wash and go routine has gotten so much better over the years. I really feel like I've learned products that really work for me. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a huge like down below. Hope, go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.